You know it's for real when you got to start it off and you're doing the Birdman money hands. Hey, yo, what's good? What's cracking? What's happening? Yeah, that's Mr. Blade Franco here. And we are now continuing the story of my rise to where right now we are creeping. And I mean, we are creeping onto Roman streak. That streak is about to be mine. Right now, from where we left off, we had a banger of a match against Cody Rhodes at the Royal Rumble to where the winner was going to be both the WWE Universal Champion and the World Heavyweight Champion. And your boy done it. I now hold both of the top titles on both brands, which means I could go wherever I please. I could do what I like and I could take a mini vacation from Miz while being his champion and pissing him off twice as much as always so for those that come here for the stream i thank you for the follows thank you if you watch thank you if you enjoy and of course if you like the like what you see please follow because you know how how i get down i'm always going to keep these streams up like i promised and if you're watching on youtube please subscribe like comment all that good stuff you know if you're really liking what you see and of course the replays are available usually around like two o'clock every every day after the streams so if you do want to see the replay for the yesterday stream, it is up by two o'clock of the next day, which since yesterday means today, two o'clock. I'm sorry, I'm just going off a tangent, but let's go ahead and do this thing. I'm ready. Let's get it. I know I got to check one more thing, but I'll check it a little later. So like I said, from where we left off, we just finished unifying the titles. I have both belts rather than just one. And since I don't have the world title, we're going to make it up with this. We're going to act like our NXT championship here. We're going to act like this is our world title. So don't mind the big X. We're going to just act like this is the world heavyweight championship. We're going to put it right here with our WB title. So, you know, double champions laid out, two belts laid out. You know what I'm saying? But I will admit, one day I, I am kind of planning on one to get the one to get the world title. But it wouldn't be crazy for me to say I actually like the white strap on the women's title. So I feel like I might get the world I might get the women's world title. But here's the thing: it doesn't say women's world title on it. It just says world heavyweight champion, right? So we're gonna say it's the world championship, but with the white strap. But that's that's the future. That's that's why I plan on the future. I don't know. Something about white straps on the belt for some reason looks a little more unique to me than the black strap. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Fade away. We're gonna get this popping. And let's see what Sir William Regal gotta let us know about. Good to see you, champion. Congratulations on your big win against Cody at the Rumble. Huh. Feels good to finally quiet the critics. Indeed. And good to have you back here on Raw 2. Although last time you visited, it ended with me sporting a black eye. Ah, it was a heated moment and you got caught in the crossfire. Sorry about that. We good? I've been in this business for 40 years. If I cut ties with everyone who's punched me in the face, I'd have no friends. I'm glad True. we can move past that and focus on what's next. Don't you mean, who's next? Since you're holding all the gold, you'll be facing the winner of last night's Royal Rumble match, Montez Ford. Oh, that's I've dope. been wanting to mix it up with him for years. WrestleMania is going to be huge Yo, when I tear the house the gun, down with Montez Ford be singles for and tie Roman's record. Well, we're going to give the WWE Universe a preview of WrestleMania when you and Montez have a little chat in the ring tonight. Let's do this. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yo, I actually like this universe, man. I like the different stuff that happens. I like the club was holding all the gold. I like the fact of hearing Montez Ford finally got that singles push that we've been waiting to see. And he won the Rumble. I'm not going to lie. If Montez Ford was somebody to really go into the Royal Rumble and win that bitch, I would be all for it for Montez Ford to be champion. He got the look. He got the energy. He got the charisma. I'm, I'm telling you right now. There's a reason why him and Bianca Belair are a power couple. 
because WWE been seen it for a long time. If I don't really want the profits to split, but if they did it in the same kind of form as like how it was for the New Day, but a little different, I would be with it to see Montez Ford be champion and still have the Almighty, still have B Fab, still have Dawkins all there rooting for him. You know what I'm saying? That would be ill. Plus, plus we could get something interesting. We could see how it would look if you put Bobby Lashley in a tag team with and Angelo Dawkins. The two powerhouses of the group being a straight tag team, decimation. But but let's continue the story though. I'm I'm ready for this. This I don't know how much more of the story we got, but I do feel like we're probably getting close to the ending. If not, it's whatever, but I do aim to try to make the goal of today's stream hopefully ending this. So we'll see. Montez Ford, God is good. And so is winning the Royal Rumble. Tonight, you're going to hear my plans for WrestleMania. Hint, there's one dude with two, with both titles. So, Bianca Belair, proud of you, Montez. I'm telling you, bro, it makes sense. He got the energy and the charisma. And he's, and, and he's married to one of the best women today on the WWE roster. I mean, it's it's, it's the prophecy, bro. But let's, let's see what Montez got to say in the ring. Oh, let me see if I can move this real fast. Oh, I missed it. But currently, I'm at 1172 days. The newly crowned double champion is here on Raw to kick off the road. Yeah, look, at to look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at how to go. Look Ladies at Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you the undisputed. WWE. Can we just call me the undisputed champion to save save everybody's breath? That's quite a mouthful, champ. I agree. Oh. Maybe we'll just call him no, the me, me undisputed this, champion this from now on. Well, hello there, Raw. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's pretty it damn cool much better. to be back where I started, but on a whole different level. Speaking of reaching a whole new level. I'm not the only guy who had a good night at the Royal Rumble. See, there's a man who's got a WrestleMania main event to cash in. A superstar who's ready to make the leap. Honestly, he reminds me a bit of myself from a few years back. <laughs> so let me introduce you to this year's winner of the Royal Rumble match, Montez Ford! Oh, we're gonna see it now. Raise your cups high, boy. Raise your cups high, boy. Are gonna face off. Both these men look ready to go. Well, they're gonna have I like to it. wait make, until WrestleMania. Black history. It's a mutual respect Two black men between main Ford eventing and WrestleMania. The What's this? It's not the best time for technical difficulties. It's Roman Reigns. Roman's this guy will let our champion celebrate a single moment. Undisputed, huh? <laughs> Look at you. Peacocking around like you mean something. That title you took from Cody at the Rumble? They made it up. Because nobody could beat me. I mean, he did say that before. I am so tired of hearing people compare you to me. Are you so deluded that you really think I would let a pretender like you tie my record with the universal title? Nah. Come on. You shouldn't even be there. Montez Ford! You're a young man with a bright future. I'm sorry to say this, but you're not the guy I can count on to beat this clown at Mania. What you mean? You doubt so my boy. Change your plans. See? What I did is I took a big briefcase full of my Hollywood money, flew in my private jet out to the woods of Minnesota, and I owned oh, no. myself a hunter. Knows a little something about ending streaks. 
I'm actually amazed they still kept them for the storyline in my rides. That's actually interesting. Hope it was fun while it lasted. Shame. What? The beast is back. Montez Ford. Oh is my god. Just so you know, this is the first time I get to see any of Brock Lesnar in this game. Remember, originally they was trying to block him. Ford is hurt. But here comes the champion. No, Solo Sokoa. Oh, this is where the bloodline is still together. It certainly looks that way. Oh, no. Brock Lesnar just broke Ford's arm. Regal trying to restore some order. Stereo super kicks right I'm to super the Super my boy Regal. What's going oh, on? They man? have to stop. Regal's not a competitor anymore. Welcome to Suplex City, champ. Montez Ford is down. Regal is down. Dark Horse is down. Who can stop Brock Lesnar and the Bloodline? The reunited Bloodline and Brock are working together to break the undisputed champion before he can make it to WrestleMania. And the champ can't do a damn thing about it. I don't I don't know what's crazier to, to notice after all this. The fact that there was a point where Imperium hired Iglia Dragunov to help them out. Or the fact that Brock Lesnar got paid off as a hired head to join the bloodline just to end the streak. Bro, that that's wild, man. That's wild. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So I got to deal with the beast for both of my belts. I wanted that match with Montez. But this is this is just cruel, bro. This is fucking cruel. Royal Rumble match winner Montez Ford suffered a broken arm at the hands of Brock Lesnar, costing Ford his WrestleMania title opportunity. The WWE Unif unified champion. I'm not reading all that goddamn shit. Blade Franco has demanded a match for all the gold with Lesnar instead. This is why I'm the head of the table. You all thought the bloodline was dead, but we came back stronger than ever with a beast. I'm going to sit back and watch Brock Lesnar and Mr. Blade Franco's dream of beating my record. You know how serious Roman takes that as his record. If he had to hire the man that he fought in probably more the the most main event matchups at WrestleMania, or just main event in general, him and Brock Lesnar, the amount of times these guys went to war, he actually hired this beast to come for these belts, these belts. I okay, that's fine. That's that's fine. That's fine. Before I was Blade Franco, I called myself the Beast. T H A B E A Z D. So, let's see if a beast could take on a former beast, or still is per se. Because being a Soul Reaper feels a little bit more suited for my game. But I. Right. I do hope Montez Ford gets better, and I, and I do hope I could get his opportunity with him. But we see how real it is. We see how real it is. Isn't this great? Roman's brilliant plan put Regal in the hospital. So there's no debate now. Who's the best GM in WWE? It's me. Now I don't. Now I don't know what's worse: the fact that I have to deal with Brock Lesnar now for my title, or the fact I got to deal with seeing Miz bitch ass after I just got away from this like literally my rise has made it to where no matter what you do you have to deal with this snarky ass bullshit ass c plus ass soup movie the movie guy and it's like all i want is william regal to be my gm all i want is to just be be around regal why do i have to be around the miz you are the picture of class miz 
I have exactly zero patience for you or any of this. I want the bloodline, and I want them now. I am generally not in the give the dark horse what he wants business. But in this case, I cannot wait to see Brock and the bloodline break you and your big dreams of beating Roman's record at Mania. Hmm. <sighs> You're gonna be disappointed. You don't even sound sure yourself, but whatever. You wanna get the hell kicked out of you on the way to Mania? Who am I to stop the fun? All right, I don't know how he's gonna give me the bloodline, but let's see what what they do. Sammy, big Sammy. Hey, I hear you're going after the bloodline after what they did to you and Regal. I am. They're gonna get what's coming to them. Nobody knows the bloodline better than I do. I know your story, Sammy. You don't. You only know what you saw on TV. Let me help you take them down. Sammy, I appreciate that. I do. But this is something I have to do on my own. Look, I tried to take out the bloodline alone and it didn't work. You need backup. I owe my career to Regal. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for him having faith in me when nobody else did. And then the bloodline tore him apart while I did nothing. Nothing. I hear you, but I'm telling you, you're making a mistake trying to do this alone. We haven't even talked about the fact that they have Brock Lesnar now. I don't have time for any of this. I'm done talking. I'm taking down the bloodline. Now. All right, not, not to take away the tension of the story, which I do like. Is it me or does Sami Zayn look, look got the Santa Claus look? I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Sami's beard is so thick in the game. He literally has the Santa Claus look. Like... Bro. Well, I tried. Good luck, champ. You're gonna need it. I, st I ain't gonna lie, though. It is pretty stupid that my boy ain't taking help. I honestly would take the help of Sami Zayn. I would take the help of anybody. The Bloodline is a group that you cannot take dolo. You, you've seen WrestleMania story. You've seen what happened with Cody's match. Cody even needed help to come take out the small amount of backup that Roman tried to pull out of WrestleMania. You can't beat the bloodline alone that is not possible it's not realistic it's time for the bloodline to start looking over their shoulders for a change bro that you better you better mean you about ready to roll up on them with a weapon bro you need something you can't just roll up on them and not roll up on them all right, currently on the screen, it says Roman Streak With the is 1,253 days. You can see the confidence in Solo Sokoa. It's the undisputed champ. He's Ooh. taking a big risk. If I've you had a backstage me. brawl this whole time. I'm ready. This is our undisputed champion attacking Solo in the parking lot. What has the bloodline been up to for the past few years? This is a small taste of their own medicine. The champ better finish what he started here because what you don't want is an angry solo Sokoa coming after you. I ain't gonna lie. Like, Corey can say whatever he likes. Me doing this is probably one of my best opportunities to try to take down the bloodline. Weaken out all the other soldiers. Shifts it back onto him. DDT! Paying it right back with a reversal oh what a right hook kick right to the ribs and there's more to come brain Rock. buster no i wanted to cheer he's got a plan for that table and it does not Bitch. involve a dinner party <laughs> devastating brain buster Getting brain busted on concrete, that really will fucking break your skull. Caught in a bad position here. Drop his ass through a goddamn table. Oh, oh, no, I'm treating this like I really gotta take out the bloodline. I'm not giving solo H. He has to be. Oh, kick. shit. Okay, he got me with that. What reflexes to stop Sokoa? And he barely God damn, man, come on. Let me get my clothes on. Oh, 
look at the knees. Endless knee strikes. Cheers, Solo. Oh, God. I'm making an admission to oh, take your ass out. Oh, my gosh, what impact. Solo getting out of harm's way. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Soul kick. Ooh, quick knee to the gut. Kick right to the ribs. Uh-oh. Ooh, I was going to drop him his dome piece again. All right, I got to look for a red card now. Ooh, come on, Solo. Make a run for it. Where's the red card? Okay, it's not over here, I guess. Oh, the wicked clothesline! Come on, Solo. Come chase the big champion. Come on. Come on. Okay, the red car is over here. Now, how the hell do I get over there? What a close line! Oh, he knew what was coming. Oh, the old whipper snapper! Well, let me make sure so they could tell me. All right, they said red car in the parking lot. Oh, over here. Okay, okay. So I gotta wait for Solo to get his ass over here. He's gonna come over here. Come on, Solo. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, the come on. I was gonna close on him first. Strike. Okay. But here come the Usos. You attack one member of the bloodline, you attack them all. This could be a repeat of what happened when they reunited. Really should have thought about that, honestly. <laughs> and Solo with the spike. And now they're sending him up for something else. Right into the side of that car. He might be joining Regal and Montez Ford on the IR when this is over. What is Jey Uso directing them to do? It looks like the champ's about to go for a ride. Shades of the shield. No, not this. Down onto the car. Ooh. The champ bit off that more than he could chew. And this guy isn't even going to make it to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. For the second time, the newly reformed bloodline has left our undisputed champion lying. I told you, bro. I I don't know why why they would make the guy make my guy say he don't want help from nobody. I would have happily taken the help from Sami Zayn right here. This is a perfect example of bro. You need to take the help. Why the hell do you think you gonna take it on Dolo? Fighting one Samoan is annoying. Fighting a group of Samoans, especially Dolo, is probably one of the worst things to deal with. That shit's crazy, bro. Breaking. After sustaining injuries due to the Bloodline's brutal parking lot attack, Blade Franco has been released from the local medical facility. Love what my family did to that dark horse. How'd you like your trip to the glue factory, Blade Franco? That's a nice line. I hate to say it. That's actually a pretty good line. I I really feel like either Roman or Roman's writer, whoever it is that comes up with these lines for Roman, they they really make it sound really good. I, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and here's Sammy again to tell me to, to say I told you so. <laughs> that didn't turn out so well. <sighs> Yeah, maybe you were right. No shit, Sherlock. Why you had to go to the hospital in order for you to actually agree finally? There is no taking the bloodline out one at a time. There's only taking them all out in a single blow with even numbers. The Usos have a match tonight. I should strike afterwards when they least expect it. Or, should I say, we. You in? Yep, but knowing how they operate, we're gonna need one more guy. You got someone in mind? 
Oh, my boy Finn. Finn has been with me this whole my rides. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be down. I do. Oh, I could call one of the people from my squad. Hmm. You know, just because Finn really been riding with me this whole my rise, I gotta get Let's Finn. do this. I still kind of wish I had the whole judgment day. It, maybe it's just me. I, I, I would love to have the whole judgment day have my back, but if I can only get Finn, then fuck it. I'll ride with it. Hey, Roman Reigns, how's the weather out in LA? Stoked for your cousin's match tonight. Definitely checking it out. Gonna be a barn burner. Oh boy. I will admit to say, honestly, Roman did do a lot for the title. He Another honestly did. Big win for the Usos. These guys have been on a roll ever since the Bloodline reunited. Wait, wait, it's the champ and Sami Zayn. We know his history with the Bloodline, and they're taking it to the Usos. Yeah, we beaten ass. The sides have been even up, at least for now. Sami Zayn and the Undisputed Champion are getting after the Usos, sending a direct message to Roman Reigns. Actions speak louder than words, Cole, and the champ is speaking loudly by taking the bloodline head on like this. After what happened in the parking lot the last time the champion went after them, he was smart to bring the whole rival Sami Zayn to the fight. What a striking combination. Boom! Great job anticipating Jimmy. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Whoa, not quite yet. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. Oh, let me give you a little suplex to the mind, bitch. He's looking to absolutely destroy his opponent with that chair. Jimmy Uso is showing signs that it could be ending soon. Yeah, Jimmy's got to figure something quick. Oh, Maybe where just you stay going? down, where you man. You've done enough. No! Oh, you really done with this ass working yet? Where you going? Ridiculous. That I see me saying your Jay, own body around realize. without a care. Mm -hmm. Taking no account for their own well-being. Toss back into the ring. Suplex. Close the line. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Took it out to me. I always love that combination. I don't know why, I just do. This isn't a match. Right. It's just a fight. Let's, just see, let's see what happens next. I just want to get my hits in real fast. But here comes Solon Sikoa. Solon nails the champion with a headbutt. So much for evening the odds. The bloodline now is a three on two advantage. Samoan headbutts Not are the worst, Always. The champ and his little buddies walk the come on. right into a trap. Oh, I'm about to say, why are you just standing there? I'm jump on him. And there goes Jimmy. What a shot to Solo Sokoa. He got knocked right out of the ring. They jumped the bloodline from behind, and then they act like they won some kind of fair fight. As soon as the sides were even, the bloodline ran for the hills. It's called a strategic retreat, Cole. The balance of power just shifted on the road to WrestleMania. That's crazy. So in, my, so in this universe, the bloodline reforms, weirdly enough, with Jay and Jimmy working together after they went through that whole thing of splitting, so they just look like two brothers of different colors. <laughs> that's that's wild. And then they got then they even got Brock Lesnar to, to be a hired hand to try to break the streak. Look, I understand what what the all legal stuff going on with Brock Lesnar, but personally, I've always been a fan of Brock Lesnar as a wrestler in the ring. He does a lot for the brand, and really, I would want him to be back in WWE. I, I, I would want to see the Beast back. That, and I've always wanted that match. I was one of the people that always wanted that matchup, seeing Gunther versus Brock Lesnar. That that was a dream match everybody wanted to see, because that shit would have been so dope. And Gunther probably would still be champion, honestly, because I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have Brock Lesnar beat Gunther while he's on such a hot streak. It wouldn't make sense. Yo, I mean, it's all right, though.
there is talks about it to where he's possibly is going to come back but we all know he's going to be a part-timer because brock don't work full-time anymore so we'll see we'll see all right what roman gotta say blade franco must think he's pretty smart Sami Zayn and the and the other ally the dark horse could find are going to regret it for the rest of their lives and all that's going to be left at many are bones for the beast to pick don't let me down usos and, and solo oh i'm going to drop them on their heads if i get a chance i know i will get a chance to do that screw that uh and troy you ugly son of a bitch what you want <laughs> You must be feeling pretty good about yourself after outsmarting the bloodline. Well, you get to keep riding that high because I have some good news for you. That would be a first. Miz has made a match. You and your two self-destructive brothers in arms are going to take on the bloodline in a no disqualification six-man tornado tag match. I'm happy they said tornado tag. I'm, I, I would rather that much easier to just beat the shit out of all three of them oh you managed to get that out without looking at the note on your hand good job troy we accept nice i'm ready for this let's get it i admire your fortitude in taking this fight to the bloodline but you are so close to matching rain's record and stepping out of his shadow once and for all Walking into WrestleMania injured or not, walking in at all, would throw it all away. I appreciate you, Regal, but I know what I'm doing. You focus on getting healthy, all right? I'm going, I want you at Mania to see me make history. <laughs> all right, this is, this is going to be fun. So... Remember, in this universe, Roman only got to 1,253 days. He didn't get to four. I think he got. To, I think he ended around 14. I could be wrong. Ah, he got the bloodline the coming out to the Legato Del, Del Fantasma entrance. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring at a combined weight of 743 pounds. The team of Jimmy Uso, I missed that. Jay I was trying Uso, to jump into the basket. I missed. Sikoa, the bloodline. When Roman Reigns reassembled the bloodline to stop the undisputed WWE Universal Champion on the road to WrestleMania, some questioned if they could be the well-oiled machine they once were. Who, Saxton? I want names, because the bloodline looks better than ever. After tonight, there won't be enough left of the disputed champ for Brock to make a meal out of at Mania. I swear, the only thing that looks like it makes sense out of this entrance is just the fact of Jimmy being in the middle, because Jimmy is the oldest brother out of all three of them, technically. Other than that, I kind of don't like how My Rise doesn't put the right-looking entrances for people. I don't know. It, it it just bothers me. If you're gonna have a group entrance, at least make it look right. Okay, come on. I was about to say how long it takes y'all to have, have my entrance come out. Here they are to unleash their collective might onto the bloodline. Alright. And at a combined weight. Oh, we, I, we got the hurt, hurt, and we got the hurt business entrance. Wait a minute. Sami Zayn and Finn Balor. The WWE Universal Champion must be one heck of a recruiter. Look at the team he's assembled for this one. He better have made the right choices because falling short against the Bloodline won't just be a loss; it'll be a bloodbath. I'm you could tell how much of a wrestling fan I am just for the fact that I can tell the stables just by looking at them come out Just looking at them come out looking at the theatrics around them, you like can you feel can the pressure tell intensifies who, 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 who Action and chaos is about to engulf the arena Uh 
though, but this is going to be good. I get to beat up on the blood. Before we get to WrestleMania, the undisputed champion and his allies Move take ref. on the reformed bloodline in a six man tag team match. These two sides have had some vicious battles. This is one of the few times I kind of wish the ref was in like a new team. Nothing will truly be settled until our champ. And he goes for the pin. Then now to Finn Balor. Kicks out at just one. All right, come on, my guy. Get out Plenty left to go in this one. He's in there forever. He drops the hammer. Get some looks. There we go. Oh, you're lucky. I missed that one. Finn turns it around. He turns it around. He went right into that turn. Oh, bitch. Ooh, top with the suplex. Nope, not a second time, Hope. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Somebody's getting this. Suplex lights up. Dude, that was a nice springboard on the side right there. with this when you try to do one simple thing and you got everybody just jumping around That's you flying right. around you 
But other than that, it's, shit, this game is worth it right now. Crushing double But if we're going off of damage wise, we're my squad is definitely doing good right now. Good shit, Finn. I can't believe it. Roman's in I ain't care who won in my squad. As long as my squad got it. Look at the arrogance of these guys. That's not arrogance, Corey. That's pride. These guys are going to have a lot of explaining to do when the head of the table calls them into the next board meeting. Roman cannot be happy. I ain't right going to lie. It would have looked a little greedy. I would have just been like, yo, let's just keep rolling on them until, until they get ended. Brock Lesnar with a chair. Where the fuck Brock come from? from Brock. At least he dropped the chair. No, 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 no. He no, dropped no. the chair to drop me on the chair. Five out of the Ooh. steel chair. The undisputed champion is hurt. What kind of shape is he going to be in this Saturday at WrestleMania? Reigns' plan didn't fail after all. We forgot about his newest associate. Roman's record is secure. All hail our next undisputed champion, Brock. Lesnar. It looks like the squad that I have definitely needs one more body because we didn't account for a Brock Lesnar to pop up. Yeesh. That, that was just reckless right there. My family let me down again, but I don't need them. I can't wait to kick back in my trailer on the set of my new movie and watch the beast devour whatever's left of that horse meat. I warned you, Blade Franco. Now the receipt is on its way. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. You say you don't need your family, so you better tell them to stay completely away from me after what the fuck I'm about to do. Night one of WrestleMania is upon us. 24 hours before Blade... Damn, did we, we fast forward? Night 24 hours before Blade Franco would tie Roman Reigns' record, setting WWE Universal Championship run. The Dark Horse defends his championships against Brock Lesnar. You gotta say it like Paul Heyman is only right after a while. In, the, in tonight's main event. So automatically, I'm already there with the record. And now the goal is just to get through Brock. To be honest, I was expecting Roman Reigns to be the one to like literally show up and be like, I'm going to challenge you for it since you want my record. But at the same time, it kind of does make sense in a story manner that Brock Lesnar is the one that's stopping you. So I, I, I guess it works. The walking wounded have arrived. I'm honestly surprised you made it after what Brock did to you and your friends last week. Three plus years, Miz. I think you would have learned about doubting me by now. Tonight, those doubts finally come true. I tried to warn you years ago that this would end in tears. That you would come this close in getting out of Roman's shadow and failed at the finish line is going to eat you up for the rest of your life. You know the definition of insanity, right? <laughs> Repeating the same action again and again, expecting different results. So what? So that's you underestimating me and having it blow up in your face every time. Not this time. Not against Brock Lesnar. I'm going to paint you a picture. Told you, you can't say Brock without I doing it like that. I keep my titles tonight, tying Roman's universal record. Then tomorrow, I watch night two of Mania with my feet up in a skybox as the clock strikes midnight and I beat Roman's record i bet you it's going to be this i'm going to beat brock lesnar on night one something's going to occur at the end of night one after i beat brock lesnar to where then i'm going to have to face somebody possibly roman on night two just for that to happen because he just said the main hint that gave it away to me i watched night two 
of mania and my feet up in the skybox as the clock strikes midnight and I beat Roman's record. He needs to beat his record by night two ending, not night one. So that really hints me that I'm going to have to probably fight both nights of WrestleMania. Now, I probably not, but I ain't going to lie. My hints, no, a lot of my guesses here on my rise as I've been playing it has been correct for most of it. So we'll see. But I, I do feel like there's possibly going to be something of a twist. That would make sense. And it will be interesting. No. Yes, Miz. Yes. And then on SmackDown, you are going to have the honor of introducing me as the longest reigning universal champion in WWE history. I guarantee you that will not happen. Man, you better watch out, miss. You better watch out, miss. My surgeons are cross with me. Surgeons? What happened? Doctors. In Britain, we call them surgeons. I respect it. Another time. The point is, I've ignored their advice and I'm coming to WrestleMania. I want to see you face Brock in person. I can't say I had to support that decision, Regal, but I appreciate the vote of confidence. I have faith in you, champ. I need that right there. I need that. The biggest amount of confidence to get is coming from William Regal. That's that's what's needed in this whole thing, boy. Brock is gonna whoop my ass, but I'm going to beat him. I'm making sure. Of it. Yeah, what is this WrestleMania? Is this a hint of a future WrestleMania set? I mean, cause it's not 40. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know. There's gotta be a hint of a future WrestleMania set. But at the same time, there is no number. So it does play pretty well to not hinting what WrestleMania could be. But this is a feature set. I don't mind it. It actually the looks Hunter good. And Streak Buster is here. It's Brock Lesnar. still kind of mad they took out Brock only because I won Brock's Brock older drums look so well as my entrance and tonight's target Two. is the undisputed champion Brock Boy, just tries, fits Brock the world of wrestling anything. and oh. tonight that means attempting to put an end to the champion's winning streak Can the Beast shut down another streak at WrestleMania? Well, let's be real. I've done a lot of what Roman did before, and I've done a lot more than what Roman has done before. So I feel confident that I could take out Brock, because if Roman could take out Brock many a times, the I could take out Brock here at this time. At WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me uh, throw this in. Um, let me get this in real quick. Ah, there we go. Much better. While the announcement's going, let me rock both of my belts real fast. If he's feeling extra pressure, the undisputed champion is certainly not showing it. But as each day he holds that title passes, oh, I bet his insides are more like a flock of nervous pigeons trying to find their way out of a paper bag. That's one way to describe facing Brock Lesnar. I'm going to try to set this up the way he got it.
Damn, I haven't put the buckles, buckles on in a minute. I admit, I'm a big dude. I don't, I don't really, I can't really buckle the belts around if I wanted to. We're just gonna act like it's attached. <laughs> These moves wasn't working. The champ has two titles on the line for a reason. And that reason is a belief in their preparation and an undeterred confidence to get Yo. the job done. One day, one more day. I saw you, bitch. Champion goes in the history Probably of this tiny Roman me. Reigns title run. One day? I thought you meant that the champ has one more day on Earth. After all, he is running head on into a buzzsaw named Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar um, Brock's is no supposed to be the boss so I'm beating six weeks at WrestleMania. So. Will the champion reign supreme and make history? Or will the Beast devour another opponent, cutting short their glory on the grandest stage of them all? He's turning the tables. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Brock put a stop to that. I hope I, I actually get to beat Brock rather than let it be just a cutscene thing. You know, it'd be dope if they had two cutscenes where, like, if you beat Brock, you get the you get what was supposed to happen, and you don't beat Brock, you get an alternate to what happens. Let me give you a suplex of my own. Bitch. A surprising lack of brutality from Lesnar there. What a counter! Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Well, Brock don't know me very well, but I know Brock very well. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. No way. What a cross body! Pinpoint precision right on target. Ooh. This superstar trying oh, wait, to get the WWE here? Universe oh, yeah. them, and now look at this. Star I forgot I had this move. This is another one I don't use too often. Look at these stomps. I love the champion. Shouts out to Chase Year, bro. Nothing fancy, just trying to deal out as much damage as possible. He saw that one coming. A bad place to be for the challenger. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxon's a very fragile boy. Cool. I know I wanted to hit back with, for, for the quick one real fast. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. Returning to the ring now. You are now entering. Oh, Ooh, I walked into that. We keep Kenny the score the pin. Gets the shoulder up. Hell Still not. in it. Hell no. Oh, oh shit. This. Oh, well, this is going to hurt. Suplex. And not done yet. Another German. And continuing to punish their opponent with a German. Lesnar with intensity and aggression on a whole other level. Yeah, man, Lesnar's not playing around. All right, what's next? Boom. Okay, so getting yeah, clipped by the axe handle. All right, so Brock is definitely going to take some time. He's not somebody who's going to go down and like finish it. So I already know what I got to do. Brace for impact. Here it comes. The Buck. beast is with a. 
Sorry, I'm still early in damage. This is the cool. Oh, shit. This victory is for, 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 for Big E. This victory is for Kofi Kingston. This victory is for every man that you try to ruin their shoes for. Take these fists, bitch, bitch, bitch. The thing is, I pressed the reversal the in the beginning. I know I did. Ooh, that was close. That was close. I just didn't want to use resiliency. That was close. All right. I can't let Lesnar hit me one more time. If he hits me one more time, it's like it's like it's rap city unless I use resiliency. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. It's risky what I'm doing, but I know what I'm doing. I need to get that second finisher, then I can start popping him. From the top. That one to you know what would be funny if Brock Lesnar went for a moonsault? <laughs> no, a shooting star, even though he banned himself from the shooting star. After, uh, after that, what happened with Kurt Angle? <laughs> This is going to be stiff. Backdrop suplex. Two. Knew what was coming there. He steps foot in the ring again. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. He didn't budge. I hit him with the yacht kick. He didn't budge. Fuck it. Nice, nice. I just need that first one going. On their championship dreams. Well, let's see if that kick out was a spark, or is it the challenger's last gas? Everything possible. Damn it, he reversed it. Win there, but it just okay. fell short. Backbreaker. Ooh, okay, okay. I can't, I can't let him hit me with another one. I can't let him hit me with another one. Yes, yes. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. <laughs> no. Lesnar saw it coming. Okay, okay. I got to play smart. I can't get too happy here. Coming back in the ring. We go what I see here. He was passing me. 808. Fuck that face. Come on. Come on. Come on. Kiss your dreams. Good. He's done it. He's done it. I said I was going to beat the beast, and I beat the beast, bitch. Roman Reigns record-setting reign with the WWE Universal title. I can't believe it. It's about time you started to believe. These are mine. Not this. Roman Reigns interrupting the champion's moment again. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You know what, Roman? I don't want to hear it. You've been doing this for three years now. Instead of, what is it you're doing? Celebrity guest host on some game show, chilling your new NFT, or maybe, just maybe, you're filming another cameo in a failing sequel. Don't know what to say without a script? I'll help you out. The only table you're the head of anymore is the one that Rock brushes his crumbs onto. I'm here. I'm doing the work. And yeah, the boy. only thing... I'm sure you got a lot to say, but... it doesn't matter. When you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Whoa! 
called it. I fucking called it. I called it, bro. There was no way he was gonna let me just simply walk away with that shit. There was no way. WWE Universe is in shock. Unbelievable. I called it, bro. They wasn't gonna let me just walk away with what I got, bro. Hope you're not too busy tomorrow night, champ. Because the landlord is back. And rent is due. Do we have a new WWE Universal Champion? Look, I need to be ready my rise. Bro, I guess exactly what was gonna happen. Undisputed champ might as well kiss breaking Roman's record. Goodbye. All right. Hopefully, I don't have much lasting damage because this I I will need to be at my top form for the next night. Kayla, night one of WrestleMania was an incredible experience, but all of the focus now is on what happened after the undisputed champion defeated Brock Lesnar. That's right, Byron. Roman Reigns made a shocking return by laying out the champion right after his successful main event defense. The dark horse slayed the beast, but immediately fell to the head of the table. Roman Reigns Sheesh. then issued a challenge for tonight. And the undisputed champ accepted. For the first time in WrestleMania history, one superstar will be main eventing both nights. In addition to Charlotte Flair's huge women's world championship defense against Gigi Dolan, Ooh, Gigi the WWE Dolan got it? Universal title will be on the line. The undisputed champ will defend against Roman Reigns, who stated that his only interest is taking back his universal title. At midnight tonight, whichever man wins will walk out the longest reigning WWE Universal Champion in history. Get ready for history to be made on night two of WrestleMania. Let's go, boy. I got through the beast. Now it's time to take down the head of the table and punch a hole through that goddamn table. I gifted Blade Franco the WWE Universal title and now I'm going to get it back. I don't need a bloodline. I don't need a beast. I'm going to take my title and whatever dignity this imposter has left home with me tonight. WrestleMania is my table. Okay, we'll see, Roman. We'll see. We'll, we'll see, bruh. You made it. I told you. I wouldn't miss this for the world. How are you feeling? You ready? You know, I've been getting the hell beat out of me for days. My ribs ache so bad it hurts to breathe. And uh, knowing Miz, I'm sure I'll have something up his sleeve. Typical Sunday night, then. Pretty much. I'd give you the full Churchill. But I don't think you need inspirational speeches anymore. No? You're a champion. Twice over. You've more than fulfilled your potential. So I'll save the pretty words for the next kid coming up. Thanks, Regal. For everything. Yo, for real, bro. Hey, Finn, what's happening, my brother? You look like a man who walked out of a bar fight and into a prison riot. I feel like hell. I think I'm the only person in this stadium who believes I'm going to win. Why the hell would you say that? Come on, man. You hear the locker room. They've been saying I'm a fluke since day one. Oh, poor me. No one believes in the dark horse. Get a hold of yourself. <sighs> I'm just being real. Seriously. In three plus years as champion, I would have thought you'd learn to silence the voices in your head. I mean, voices. If I'm sorry, you called it. I mean, I guess I just. You're so used to others doubting you that you won't let them believe in you. Logan Paul, Rhodes, Lesnar, they were all doubters. And look at what you did to them. You were NXT champion, yeah. Roman never did that i didn't sleep too much last night in a way i kind of stayed up for no reason partly so 
So that's part of the reason why I'm yawning compared to all the other times. Maybe you have a point? You're damn right I do. You might not feel like it, but you're not the dark horse anymore. You're the favorite. So go out there and prove the biggest doubter of all wrong. See, Finn, that's the motivation I need, bro. I'm not saying William didn't give me enough motivation as it is, but that's definitely something I needed. The time has come. Blade Frankel defends the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Roman Reigns next at WrestleMania. All right. You know what I find amazing? That I'm a tiny bit disappointed in? This whole thing has been going on and not one time have I seen the wise man. Not once. And it, it kind of bothers me. Yeah, Miz. Take a look at what you're gonna look at back on SmackDown when I'm done, boy. Let's go. Oh, uh, I just need y'all to hear this. This is one of my favorite ones right now. Yeah. The ultimate challenge awaits this man, the undisputed champion. Hit him up. I know I normally keep the music low in all these, but I had to turn it up for this, just this one right here. Even the champion, Roman Reigns will enter last for this historic encounter. Just another instance of being just in Roman's shadow. Dance. Don't think the champion won't use that as extra motivation mm, here mm, tonight. Mm, Not mm, that he needs mm. it. journey and I mean a long journey it's time to show this journey was meant for something oh yeah shouts out to stream beats Stream beats was the ones providing me all these great music for these streams and I'm still going to be using them over time. I just want to definitely say thank you to them, bro. Y'all keep up the good ass work. For the first right time now, in years, the once and perhaps future champion oh, is here to take back what he says is his. Roman Reigns. But yeah, shouts out to Stream Beats. Right now, you guys been listening to um, Stream Beats hip hop playlist. I I sometimes play the rock playlist too, back and forth, give them a little time to breathe. I like both of them. But currently, that's what y'all listen to right now. Y'all can find on Spotify if you like to listen. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I just want to get that out there because I'm definitely happy what Stream Beats has provided for me. Definitely has been helping me keep these streams alive, as well as some great background music to where Roman even if y'all don't fully hear it, I'm hearing it the whole time. WWE and WrestleMania. If you don't have goosebumps right now, go see a doctor. It's these moments that make me so glad we get a front row seat. Yeah, something like this makes all the nights sitting next to you worth it, Saxton. But in all seriousness, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I know I'm against Roman, but I'll throw the one up one time. 
just for the respect I had for Roman. Because outside of the game, I, I have been a Bloodline supporter. That yes, I had been wanting Roman to lose the title at that time before done, Rhodes finally did it. But at times, I have been a, a, a Roman Reigns supporter. I have. Now it's time for the greatest of all time to beat the greatest of all time. I really can't wait till I have enough money to add to this collection, honestly. I, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna try to drape it fully out with belts, but I do wanna add some more belts to my collection. I'm gonna drop the music now. faces on our competitors this big moment is not lost on them there it is the ultimate prize the uni I gotta make sure these belts are down I'm not letting them get away with a sneak attack I'm gonna make sure those belts are in place so y'all see what's coming back to me I beat the beast now it's time to beat you Universal championship a title worth putting it Okay, I got a little line. damage in your WWE will be changed right. forever tonight. Not too bad. I got a little damage in your name. Return. We will find out who is the now, remember, Roman's is the 99 in this game. This book won't be written by history scholars. It'll be written by the battle of wills between two of the best competitors in the modern era. Roman Reigns helped create Okay, I got to concentrate title. here. I'm not tonight, paying attention fully. Will he be able to destroy it? Remember, I am hurt. Come back to ultimately surpass his Ooh. own okay, okay. Come on, the challenger. And he manages to kick out in one. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Reversal. Right. What a counter. Roman started off the intensity. Now it's time for me to return the favor. Fighting back. And well timed maneuver there. Reigns able to sidestep. Try to wear down that arm a little bit real fast. Ah, Fujiwara armbar applied. Seems like the champ might have a pretty clear strategy in mind here, going after the arm. Boom! Boom! Kick finds it. Oh, cross body! Whoa! I love that cross body. Heat seeking missile coming at you, and the explosion occurring ringside. Guys, they're getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. Reigns is facing some serious trouble. Roman's on the wrong side of this exchange. He's able to sidestep Oops. there. He's heading back to the ring. Oh, fuck thrust kick. Evades their offense. Take down. Come on, Roman. You had all that confidence to come back from Hollywood. Take this from me. Take the belt you said you gifted to me. Because I'm gifting you a whole ass whooping. Oh, I forgot. I, I wasn't trying to grab him at that moment. Ooh, that was nice. Disputed champion hit Reigns with his own move. Pin him, bro. Hold on. Roman's got a hold of the champion. Reigns has locked in a gear. Don't you dare tap out. Don't you fucking tap out. Roll over. Something. Reach for the ropes. Reach for the ropes. This is Montreal all over again. No. Yeah, knock his ass out, bro. GM is out cold. Call off the match and get help for the Miz. Raise on the Oh, please don't let Reigns be. Yes. Finally, Troy got his ass hit. I've been wanting that for the longest. 
Miz's last ditch attempt to screw the dark horse out of the WWE Universal Championship. Yeah, get your dumb asses out of here, bro. Both of y'all. It looks like this war will continue. Get back in the ring. I'm gonna let you get back in the ring. Bitch. The challenger not looking good right now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble the superstar exposes himself to. Good. We ain't doing the Montreal screw job here. We ain't doing that here. Not a man. I work too goddamn hard for that. Measured elbow drop, driven down. He's channeling the crowd's energy. Get your bitch ass up. Take a yacht kick straight to the mouth. Shoulder up, shoulder up. Okay, he got up. He didn't use the resiliency. Okay. What's he gonna do to Reigns? But I got an 808 with your name on it, Roman. Use it. Use it. Like I thought. Use it. Here, I'm not stopping the assault. Just I'm not stopping this. On full display. Going for broke and it pays off. I'm using all my slickness. Bitch. Now losing Get your ass to the middle of the ring. The I'm ending this quickly. by submission. I don't care. Oh, hold on. Is he You're tapping out to claim me as the greatest champion ever. Really not that, bitch. Cat bitch. He's done it. The undisputed champion has tied Roman Reigns WWE Universal title record. Y'all might as well stop saying tied. I beat it. There's not another championship match happening from this point. I have done it. Shattered. It's a new day and a new record. I cannot believe it. It seemed like this day would never come. The only thing of anybody to even try to stop it is that is there's some last minute money in the bank bullshit that shows up to try to stop it. But I doubt it. I fucking doubt it. This is mine. Now take your bitch ass back though. Back to Hollywood, Roman. Roman Reigns about to head to the back, but now he stopped. Is the head of the table about to What you want, Roman? What you want, Roman? You're not stopping me here. No, no. Look at Roman's face, Cole. The champion has not seen the last of him. Maybe not. But tonight is not about Roman Reigns. Tonight is about our record-breaking undisputed champion. He doesn't want or need Reigns' approval because he just beat him in the middle of the ring. You're That's damn right, right. Corey. Maybe it's time for you to acknowledge the dark horse after all these years. Agreeing with you is like biting a lemon, Saxton. But WrestleMania is all about moments. And even I have to admit that this guy, well, what he's done tonight is incredible. The champion has stepped out of Roman Reigns' shadow. He's overcome Miz's attempt to steal the title. He overcame years of obstacles. And tonight, he became a legend. For Byron Saxton, Corey Graves, I'm Michael Cole. And this is the end of WrestleMania and the beginning of a new era. This is the Dark Horses era. It has been the Dark Horse era for three years in game. It has been the Dark Horse era since the beginning. The biggest flaw that has happened, Roman fucked up when his first idea was to gift me this belt. He gifted me this belt as a bad decision. He thought I was gonna lose it right away. Didn't happen. He thought I was gonna lose it in a year. Didn't happen. Thought I was gonna lose it in two years. Didn't happen. Thought I was gonna lose it in three years. Didn't happen. He thought I was gonna lose it to Brock Lesnar and reform the bloodline. It didn't happen. And then he tried to come back for a second match on the second night of Mania, as I guessed it. And it didn't happen. This is mine. I will forever be your undisputed WWE 
Universal Champion. Now all I need left, the only thing I need left, I need a wise man. Just so you know, I'm having a lot of fun, you guys. I'm purposely doing all this, but I'm just having a lot of fun. This has been a very good My Rise. I very much enjoyed it. I feel like there's still more. I don't know. But yo, this has definitely been a fun My Rise. Very awesome. Oh no, that's it. So we completed our first run of My Rise today. Let's get it. Now, I kind of feel like if I played a little bit longer yesterday, I could have just ended it all yesterday, but we did it. We ended it today. I am forever the undisputed champion in my eyes. And it feels awesome. Now, I didn't make my character any different than how he already is outside the game. So, in a way... There's no point of him being exported, but I'm not going to delete the save. I'm going to let him sit there. But yeah, I feel good with that. <laughs> we finally ended my rise today. Now, the only problem now, after the whole journey in my rise, is that right now the stream has only been up for an hour and like 20 minutes. So I admit it, it's kind of, it feels too early to want to end um, the, the, the My Rise, you know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't know. I really don't know how, how to go about this at this point now. I'm trying to think, because I already know upload wise, I'm making sure to clip this. So I'm going to make sure to cut it around here so that way you got that we got the end of the my rise run for the beginning but it just means we have another beginning to another my rise but i do want to save that start for another time because just like the other one i want to start up to where you got to make our person because i want to start the women's my rise next up the unleash story and then of course what we're going to do as well over time, I'm going to come back to the guy story. We're going to replay it again, but I'm going to make all the opposite choices that I made from the first time, which I did notice one thing. I didn't get my fucking marrying GG Dolan storyline. What the fuck? What happened to that? That was the biggest T storyline that I remembered and I didn't get it. I think if anything, it truly came from the fact that I made a certain choice down a road that I was supposed to make and I didn't make that road so definitely the next time we go through the guys road we're going to take every opposite route that I took the first time and hopefully I can come across my Gigi Dolan storyline that was supposed to happen <laughs> so this is for the video VOD so for right now I thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed my my rise run this is the first of what I call four my rise runs that we will be having we will have another my rise run down the line as for this stream right here ugh, i don't know what to do we've done a lot we'll figure it out but until the next my rise journey i hope you enjoy yep, yep.